What does it take to become an astronaut? Pfft, a lot. Find out what you need to do to be hired to go into space. The word astronaut comes from the Greek words meaning sailor among the stars. Humans had long wondered what was beyond the Earth's atmosphere, but outer space was the great unknown. Still, scientists pushed, and by the late 1950s, both the Soviet Union and the United States were trying to be the first to put a human being into space. It was the height of the Cold War, and America's pride was at stake. But the first human to go into space was Yugi Gagarin, a Soviet cosmonaut, a member of the Russian space program. So American President John F. Kennedy challenged U.S. scientists to do the Soviets one better. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Alan Shepard was the first American in space. Godspeed, John Glenn. Eight, seven. And John Glenn was the first American to orbit the Earth. They were part of the Mercury Project. Apollo astronauts trained to go to the moon. Millions tuned in and watched Mission Control and the progress of these space explorers. And on July 20th, 1969, Americans Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first humans to set foot on the lunar surface. That's one small step for man. One in 1971, Edgar Mitchell landed on the moon as part of the Apollo 14 mission. Years later, Mitchell appeared on the first show of this series and explained what the moon was like. It's uh, like very, very fine talcum powder, but it's made of basalt rock or lava rock that's been pummeled and ground up by billions of years of meteor impact to a very, very fine pumice. Now, what does it feel like to us <clears throat> to be on it? It's uh, kind of like uh, being on a trampoline where you can bounce up and down. It's, the reduced gravity is very light and uh, allows you to bounce, which accounts for the bunny hop that some of us use to locomote, or the long uh, sloping strides that others would use. Uh, and you do feel light, even though we weighed 474 pounds Earth weight. On the moon, it only felt like about 72 or 3 pounds. It takes a lot of training to go into space. There are two kinds of astronauts, pilots and mission specialists. All American astronaut candidates should be U.S. citizens, have a college degree in engineering, biological sciences, physical sciences, or mathematics, have at least three years of experience in a STEM field or as a teacher, a master's and doctoral degree also help, Pilots have to have at least 1,000 hours of pilot in command time and flight test experience is useful. All candidates have to be in good physical shape, have good eyesight and good blood pressure, and they have to pass a rigorous physical exam. Astronaut candidates train for two years. There's time in the classroom and they must complete military water and land survival training. They also have to learn to speak Russian because now the International Space Station is a multinational cooperative effort. Once selected for a mission, astronauts have to learn more about how to work in space. They train at the Johnson Space Center in a mock-up of the International Space Station, other laboratories, or facilities in a giant swimming pool. They have to learn all aspects of their specific mission and how to survive in space. Fewer than 400 people have ever been selected for this job. But astronauts don't work alone. Thousands of other highly trained specialists play an important part in the space program. Many men and women work in Mission Control, which monitors and drives the International Space Station, and at the Johnson Space Center and other facilities around the world. There are astrophysicists, aerospace engineers, planetary scientists, communication specialists, and many other career opportunities. And as NASA looks toward Mars and other possible human space flights, who knows what new opportunities are ahead? You may be among the next to explore our universe and be a sailor among the stars. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website or check our related videos. And if you like Science Trek, be sure to click the subscribe button to catch our newest videos.